Hey guys, so today's video is going to be on a few underrated makeup products that I think more people should be talking about. Just a few makeup items that I feel don't get enough love and attention. Obviously, I don't watch every single beauty YouTuber in the entire world, so I don't know if some of these products are ones you hear about all the time. But for me personally, I feel like people don't talk about these enough. None of these items are going to be like anything new, except maybe like one or two. And let me know if this is the kind of video you want to see often on my channel. Maybe I could do a part two. I feel like there's a ton of makeup that gets so much hype here on YouTube, but then there's a ton of makeup that don't really get that much hype that are still really good. And I want to talk about them today. The Imani Perfect 10 Primer Serum is such an underrated primer. It is so good. I know they sell this brand at Target. That's where I bought this. I want to start looking into other products from this brand. They have a foundation that I really want to try out. It's like a 12-hour foundation. And I don't know. I don't hear anybody talking about Imani. So I really want to look into the brand. But anyway, I discovered this primer because I was watching a video by Daisy. I believe that's how you say her name. And she mentioned this in a favorites video, I think. And I purchased it and I fell in love with it. If you have oily skin, you will probably probably hate this like hate this but if you have very dry skin I think you will really like this it's not a moisturizing kind of primer it's actually very sticky and as you're blending it into your face it like gets really tacky but I find that my foundation just sticks to it and it lasts all day I feel like for people with dry skin it's really hard to find a primer that's gonna make your makeup last all day because usually we're just looking for something really hydrating and that's typically not very long wearing but this this is long wearing I don't know I love this so much perfect for dry skin if you want to make your makeup blast and you want to look dewy okay so my next product is actually really new to me I haven't had it for that long but I think it is so underrated and I just spoke about this in my favorites video but this is the number seven lift and illuminate foundation I want everyone to try this foundation if you have dry skin I feel like this is so beautiful I'm wearing it on my skin today it makes you look so healthy your skin looks radiant and dewy and beautiful and it has pretty good coverage I only do one layer of this and I feel like it's enough but you can build it up if you have oily skin I think this might be be too dewy for you but it is beautiful you do have to set it down with a powder because it does stay a little bit tacky when you touch it and I find that even when you do set it your skin still looks healthy it looks beautiful I love this foundation so much it's hypoallergenic I bought this at Walgreens if you're in the market for a foundation that has a pump that looks very luminous and beautiful you need this in your life I don't hear anyone talk about the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder. I might have seen like two people maybe use it on YouTube, but I feel like no one talks about it and I think it's so good. It's so incredibly affordable. This is like the cheapest powder ever. I used this today to set my entire face and I really like it because I don't think it makes my skin look too powdery. Do I have powders in my collection that I prefer over this? Yes, but I still think this one is way underrated because it's very similar to the Laura Mercier one and it's way more affordable. I I've baked with this before and it doesn't look cakey. When I set my under eye concealer, it never looks cakey. I just love how it makes my skin look. And more people need to get on this because it's so great from the drugstore. Okay, so this next product is also pretty new to me. I've had it for a couple of months. Honestly, I don't know why I haven't talked about it. I guess because I just have it sitting here on my vanity. I keep grabbing for it and putting it back and I never really think to use it in a video because I just use it kind of like on a daily basis. But anyway, this is the Fiona Styles Multi-Dimensional Color Palette. Fiona Styles is a brand that's relatively new to Ulta and I've tried a few of her products. I tried her foundation, wasn't a huge fan of it. It was okay, but I gave it away. It wasn't my favorite, but this I love so much. It's just a palette that has, first of all, it has a great mirror and then you get three blushes, two highlights and then a bronzer right here. I use this highlight as a blush more than anything. I never ever use this color right here. That's why it doesn't look like it's ever been touched because it hasn't. But I love this because I literally use every other color. A lot of the times with products like this, I'll only like two or three shades. But this one I love. I wouldn't necessarily call this underrated because I think it's pretty new. So I don't think it's underrated. I just don't think many people have discovered it yet, but I'm here to tell you that it's really, really great. I have these two colors on my cheeks today as blushes. I kind of just mix them both, and then I use this color to bronze up my skin. I always use this color as a highlight too. I just didn't use it today because I'm going to show you another highlight that I think is underrated, but this is a really nice, natural, yet luminous kind of highlight. I love it. I think the powders are really good quality. They're very soft and almost creamy. They don't have a ton of kick up. They're not hard to blend. They're so easy to work with. I love this palette. Let's talk about the highlight. 
that I am wearing that I think is so underrated. This is the Laura Geller Baked Highlighter Duo in French Vanilla and Portofino. I feel like Laura Geller in general is one of those brands that a lot of people kind of like, eh, brush it off. And I gotta be honest, I'm not like incredibly impressed by the brand overall. There are some standout products to me that I really love, but as a whole, it's not my absolute favorite. But they have amazing baked products. Their baked blushes are great. I have one in pink grapefruit that's amazing. I think their baked products are really well made and French Vanilla is the most stunning, natural, almost matte kind of highlight, but it's not matte at all. It has a very soft sheen to it. It's the highlight I'm wearing on my face today. I used this one first, and it gave me a really, really natural glow. And then I took a little bit of Portofino, and I just hit the very tops of my cheekbones with that one, and then that makes it like really, really intense. I just love this. I don't know if you could still get it in this duo. You might have to get them separately, but they're both beautiful either way you go. This one's amazing. If you're into a very natural highlight that does not emphasize texture at all, then you need French vanilla. So yes, I love this. Totes underrated. If you're fair, you need this. Okay, let's talk about some eyeshadow palettes that I think are totally underrated. The first ones being all of the Zoeva palettes. Zoeva has some incredible eyeshadows. Now, these aren't extremely underrated. I do hear people talking about them. Their brushes are so good. I think their brushes are way better than Sigma. Zoeva has some of the best but I mean, I guess I should talk about their brushes too. Like their 134 highlighting brush is my favorite brush to highlight ever. So Ava has some incredible brushes that are totally underrated and the same with their palettes. This one definitely is my all-time favorite Zoeva palette. It's their Cocoa Blend. If you get one, I highly recommend this one. It's beautiful. It's full of delicious chocolatey cocoa shades. I love this. I have been trying to get my hands on their new one. It has like orange shades. I've been trying to buy that, but every time I try to go buy it, it's sold out <laughs> and I want it so bad. But yes, definitely look into Zoeva palettes. They're amazing. Look into Zoeva as a whole. They're such a good brand. The It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty palette is probably the most underrated palette in my opinion when it comes to a full matte palette. You always hear people talk about the Kat Von D shade and light eye palette. The Visor palettes. They're amazing, but you know, you always hear people talk about those. And for some reason, I can't think of any more right now, but you know, a ton of other palettes full of matte shadows that get way more attention than this. Out of all my palettes that have only matte shades, this one is the best. I mean, granted, there is one shade in here that's not matte. It's like this pearly sheen. You know what I think is amazing about this palette is they're not 100% matte. They're more of a satin finish. That's a perfect way to describe them because they have no sheen, no shimmer, none of that. They look matte, but their texture is not as dry as a matte shadow. Like when you put your finger in, they almost feel like a cream. They're like very, very creamy, beautiful satin finish, and they blend so well. I'm actually wearing this palette in, on my eyes today. I only have like three shadows. I have Sunrise in my crease, Sunset on the outer corners, and then I have the pearl shade on my lid. Every time I grab it, I love the look I do every single time. and never steers me in the wrong direction. If you are looking for a matte palette that's just going to be incredibly easy to work with, then you need this one. No one talks about it, and it is so good. I don't like the other ones as much as I like the original. This one is where it's at. I love it. Okay, so Sugar Pill in general, I feel like is a brand that is way underrated. They make incredible eyeshadows, incredible pigments. I also really love their liquid lipsticks. I bought this palette on their website. It comes empty. It's their 12 pan magnetic pro palette. And then they have a ton of single shadows on the website. And I bought a bunch of them and then filled up this palette. They are beautiful, highly, highly pigmented, colorful shades. Their neutral shades are really good too, but their colorful shadows are where it's at. I even have a few single shadows from them. I love Sugar Pill as a brand. I think they're highly, highly underrated. Along with Colored Rain, Colored Rain is another brand I think is definitely underrated. Their liquid lipsticks are amazing. Their eyeshadows are amazing too. I should have totally included them in today's video, but I, I am right now. Colored Rain, so underrated. That is another brand that needs more hype. I feel like when the Pure Eye Polishes first released, they got a ton of hype, but then it kind of died down and not a lot of people were talking about them. And these are products that I still use till this day. I spoke about them when they first released and I love them. They're amazing because they're a liquid eyeshadow that's really creamy, really easy to blend, and really easy to apply. So when you put them on, you, you have time to move it around and put it in the places you want. But then when it dries and it sets, they do not budge and they last the entire day. I think this is one of the best products Pure has like on their website besides their sponge. I love, I was looking for the sponge. I don't know where it is. I love their sponge. It's awesome. But their eye polishes are so underrated and they are so good. This one in satin is amazing and this one in silk is stunning too. They have a bunch of shades but these two are my favorites. 
I know I talk about the ColourPop eyeliners all the time on my channel, and recently I have been using the Marc Jacob ones like crazy. They're matte ones. They're so good. I also really love the NYX Très Jolie eyeliners, but the LA Girl Glide Gel liners are awesome, and they're incredibly underrated. I don't hear anyone talking about these. I used to use them all the time on my channel, and then I kind of started using other things and forgot about them, but then I started using them again, and they are so good. They glide on. I mean, they're called the glide gel liners for a reason. They glide on so smooth, yet they are packed with pigment. And these are the kind of eyeliners that are really slippy, so it's really easy to smudge and smoke out, but then when it sets, it stays in place all day. I really, really love these. I definitely think you should check these out. I feel like LA Girl as a brand is not underrated. I hear a lot of people talk about it on YouTube, but I never hear anybody talking about their eyeliners, and they are exceptional. Okay, and then the rest of these products are lip products. I think need more hype. The first ones being the Bite Beauty High Pigment Pencils. I recently spoke about the shade Madeira in my favorites video, and this is actually what inspired me to make this video, because no one talks about these. You hear a lot of people talk about the Bite Amuse Bouche lipsticks. <laughs> I probably said that wrong. Or the Agave Lip Mask. But I feel like some of their other lip products get thrown away, and this is one of them. These are so creamy. They kind of feel like the creme lipsticks from MAC, but even creamier and way better. And sometimes I don't want a liquid lipstick, but I don't want a lip gloss either so I feel like this is a perfect in between it's a nice creamy lipstick that gives me a little bit of a shine and they're just very very hydrating now I also think that these are incredibly underrated these are the Bite Beauty Matte Creme Lip Crayons. These are amazing. I even like these more than these. These are matte and these are creamy and I'm more of a matte lip kind of gal. These are awesome because they're matte lipsticks, but they're not drying. They're actually very smooth and very creamy and they just glide on the lips, but then they set down and they get a little bit more matte and they have this shape so it's really easy to apply. With this, you can get really precise around the lip line. These last forever on my lips. Like you would think they're liquid lipsticks. My two favorite shades are Amaretto and Cognac. This is my favorite brown lipstick in my entire collection and I have a lot of brown lipsticks But cognac is my favorite when I want that super dark vampy brown lip That's gonna stay in place like I just love it. I love these I know their lipsticks are awesome like their regular lipsticks, but these are awesome, too The LA girl flat finish pigment glosses are so awesome if you're looking for a really really long-lasting liquid lipstick that's not going to transfer and that it's going to get completely matte this is the color i'm wearing on my lips right now this is in the shade instinct and it's probably my favorite red orange liquid lipstick i own it's so neon especially out in the sun it's very bold but i love that and it lasts on my lips the entire day. It does start to come off in the center, like it'll start to crumble and fade in the center after a few hours, but I don't mind that because I don't think it fades in an ugly way. I love most of them in the range, but there are a few shades that I don't like at all. Like some of these are really terrible. The darker colors are very streaky, they're, they're awful, I don't like them. But these three are my favorites. This is Instinct, like I said, it's the one I'm wearing. And then this one is Dreamy, it's like a nude pink, so beautiful. And this one is my second favorite. This one is in the shade Fleur. Fleur. I love it. It's like a warm peachy nude. So stunning. These are totally underrated. Like I said, some of them not so good, but these are really good. And then the last product I want to talk about are Essence lipsticks. These are Essence as a brand is completely underrated in my opinion. I'm starting to see a lot of people talk about them, but I feel like Essence and Catrice are brands that, in my opinion, have proven to me to be better than Maybelline or L'Oreal. And I'm using those to compare because when you go to the drugstore, the priciest brands are usually Maybelline, Revlon, L'Oreal, those more mainstream drugstore brands. Physicians Formula has always been pricey, but like, man, Maybelline and L'Oreal, they're getting up there in price. And I feel like Catrice and Essence, yes, they're not easy to find. I could only find them at Ulta, so that is really annoying. But they're way more affordable and they have a ton of amazing products. And I have just fallen in love with almost every Essence lipstick I've tried. They have a bunch of different formulas. Their new matte, matte, matte ones are really amazing. I love this color so much. This is in the shade 02. I love all their lipsticks though. Their nude ones, their creamy ones, their matte ones. Essence is where it's at for lipsticks and they're like two to three dollars. Incredible. Okay guys, so that completes this video. These were products slash brands that I think are personally a little bit underrated. I mean, sure, a lot of these are spoken about on YouTube, but I feel like they're not spoken about enough. Leave me a comment down below with a product that you think is not talked about on YouTube that's super underrated. Let me know and maybe I'll check it out and maybe I'll include it in a future underrated makeup product video. But yeah, that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.